is not equal, and they always cause the motion of an object to change the speed and slash or direction that is moving. If Brooks and Zach ran in opposite directions, the combined force would be equal to the difference between the two forces. But in this case, the force that Brooks applied allowed him to push Zach down because he was applying a lot more pressure than Zach, which caused an unbalanced force. When you add the two forces together, you get something called a net force. In this scenario, when Brooks applied X amount of newtons, when Zach was hit, a force of zero newtons caused an unbalanced force. So your net force would be 20, uh, X amounts of newtons, and Brooks, Brooks is the upper hand in the force. cause no change in the motion of an object like we see here with equal force being applied. As we see here, both Zach and Brooks are applying an equal amount of force, which is 20 newtons apiece, which would have a total of 20 newtons. If Brooks or Zach do not apply more strength, the force will remain unbalanced. This is an example of balanced forces. They are pulling with an equal amount of force, which will result in a net force of zero newtons. Word. Mm, nasty, bro. Uh. As you see here, Brooks is pulling harder with a net force of 50 newtons and Zach with 45 newtons, which results in a net force of 5 newtons, which will allow Brooks to pull Zach because he has a greater strength and magnitude. Boy. Because the unbalanced force is being exerted in the same direction, the net force will be the sum of the forces in the direction that it is applied, which in this scenario, the unbalanced force is going to Brooks and dragging Zach. But if Brooks was not moving, instead of adding the two forces together, you said track them. So to find a net force. Yes. Bloopers with Morgan Freeman.